I'm gonna take the lead on the interviews. I don't want any of your rookie bullshit. I'll start interviewing with Lester. When we'll be done with him, we can go home, relax, not have to worry about Hey, it. hey, 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 hey! It's that kid. Hey, that's the whistleblower. So Tom, what? no, um, Tim, Tim Swanson. So what, it looks like he's headed home. Midday on the day we're conducting interviews? Something's not right. Just let it go, Agent Smith. We're late enough as it is. I think we should stop and talk to him. Listen, Agent Smith, let's get one thing straight. You may have been top of your class in college, but this is your first case. I'm in charge, let it go. That's an order. Hello, Mr. Snyder. As I said before, I'm Agent Smith with OSHA. This is Agent Smith. We're here to investigate complaints made against you and your business. We will conclude our investigation after interviewing all your employees. Uh, pleasure to see you again. Come on in. Uh, sit down. No, thanks. We'll stand. So, uh, are all you OSHA agents named Smith? No, we're not related. You can call me Agent Smith, and you can call her Agent Weasel. Weasel? Now, why would they call you that? Because I hunt down rats. <laughs> we'll first need to check the premises. What for? Standard procedure. Just need to make sure everything is up to code. In the meantime, are all of your employees present for interviewing? All except for Tim Swanson. And why is that? Because my assistant manager fired his ass this morning. Excuse me, could you repeat that? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What I meant to say is he destroyed one of my bathroom facilities. Tried to flush a trash can full of garbage down the toilet. And why would he do a thing like that? Ah, uh, cause he's a stoner. Spent most of his time lighting up rather than working around here. Accidentally caught the bathroom on fire with one of his roaches. Then he decides to put it out himself. Well, Agent Smith will need to investigate that as well as the rest of the building. I'll be surveying the premises. Any questions? Um, yeah. What, um, what happens if everything's not exactly up to code? We shut the nursery down. Today. Plus a $50,000 fine. Minimum. And how long did you say you were planning to investigate again? We didn't. Great, Carter. Stick me with the shit job. I don't know, Carter. Something's not right. What'd you find outside? Tulips and daffodils. Besides that? A uh, couple disgruntled teenagers and a felon who all want better paychecks. Just like the last case and the case before that. Not this one. What's this? They're from the bathroom Snyder told us about. I found the weed hidden inside the toilet and the roaches lying on the floor. Gross. Why would a 15-year-old hide this much weed in his workplace bathroom? And why would he have tried to smoke it inside the building? There's plenty of other places to do it. He said he was 15. Well, maybe he wanted to get fired. It's not uncommon. None of this makes any sense. Please, uh... Something's going on here, Carter. Why won't you help me? Why can't you see See what? what? Some weed in the toilet? That's not substantial. This is our job. No, this is not our job. Look around, Weasel. 
Do you think shutting this place down based on some wild hunch is the right thing to do, taking all these people's jobs? What about the next case? Maybe they hire children and work them 60 hours a week. Or maybe it's a restaurant that hires illegal immigrants. Undocumented workers. But they all need the money to support themselves, to support their family. Do you really want to take their job away? If need be. If it's the right thing to do. Grow up, weasel. There's no such thing as the right thing. There's never been a case where it's been the right thing. Our job is to check the premises for hazards, then conduct the interviews, and that's all. Do the right thing and just let it go. This place is up to code, I've seen enough. Let's get the office ready for the interviews.